Hey designers, let's dive into the first impression of your website, the hero section. The hero section is the centerpiece of any website's homepage, serving as the first visual and textual touch point for visitors. It's the digital equivalent of the first impression, often determining whether a user will stay and explore further or leave the site. This section typically occupies the top fold of the web page, instantly communicating the website's purpose, brand identity and primary message. By combining powerful headlines, engaging visuals and clear call to action, the hero section sets the tone of the entire user experience of the website. So an effective hero section can capture attention, convey value and guide visitors towards the desired action, all within the first few seconds of their visit. The purpose of the hero section is to instantly capture the visitor's attention and communicate the website's core message in a compelling and concise way. It acts as the gateway to the rest of the site, setting the tone uh, and providing also a clear sense of what the website is about, whether it's the promoting uh, a product, telling a story or showcasing a brand. The hero section aims to engage users emotionally and guide them towards a specific action such as exploring more content or making a purchase. By effectively combining visuals, text and call to action buttons, the hero section helps establish the trust and encourage visitors to stay and engage with the site. A successful hero section is composed of several key elements that work together to deliver a clear and compelling message. Now let's analyze these elements of this important part of every website. So the first one is headline. The headline is the most prominent text in the hero section, designed to grab the user's attention immediately. It should be bold, concise and convey the primary message or value proposition in a few impactful words. Ensure you avoid real long text there and focus on the keywords describing the website purpose as much as possible. Then there is subheadline. While the headline grabs attention, the subheadline provides additional context. It elaborates on the main message, offering more detailed and enticing the user to stay and learn more. And then there is call to action or CTA. The CTA is a crucial element that guides visitors towards the next step, whether it's signing up, making a purchase or exploring more content. It should be clear, action-oriented and uh, stand out visually to encourage user interaction. With primary call to action button, there is usually provided secondary action displayed as a secondary button, sometimes called also ghost button. We already discussed this uh, in the previous uh, chapter. This is a good opportunity for actions like contact us, book a demo, and other related actions. Also, necessary part are visuals. Visuals like background images, videos or animation play a vital role in setting the mood and enhancing the message of the hero section. They should be high quality and relevant, compiling the text without overpowering it. The current trends are using interactive uh, 3Ds, blurred gradients, mesh gradients and more mentioned in one of the previous dedicated chapter. Then there is scroll stimulant. Elements like scroll indicators or directional arrows can subtly uh, guide users to explore beyond the hero section, indicated that there is more value content further down the page. These elements are optional. Usually you should provide enough hint from the lower section to scroll down intuitively. And relevant is also social proof. So incorporating elements like customer reviews, testimonials or logos of partners and clients can add the credibility and build trust of the visitors. Displaying this social proof directly in the hero section helps visitors quickly recognize the website's reliability and reputation, encouraging them to engage further. All of these elements should work harmoniously to create a hero section that is both visually appealing and functionally uh, effective, guiding the visitor's journey from the moment they land on the site. But now let's do a practical analysis. Linear Hero section is exemplary showcase of best practices in web design, effectively utilizing key elements to communicate its value. First is headline. So here we can see that Linear is purpose built tool for planning and building products. It's a clear, concise and targeted headline. It directly addresses uh, the audience's needs, so those looking for tools to plan and build products. So the phrase 
Purpose build indicates a specialized uh, tool setting cleaner apart from more generic options. So you can see that you can play really with the copy to indicate uh, proper values and emotions. Then there is subheading. The subheading meets the system for modern software development, streamline issues, projects, and product roadmaps. It provides for the clarity and context of the tools. So it elaborates on what Linux offers and uh, emphasizes the product's modernity and efficiency. And this setup creates an immediate understanding of the product's core functionality and its benefits as well. And of course we have the CTA. So the primary CTA start building is direct and action oriented. It encourages users to uh, take immediate action, inviting them to start using the product. The button's prominence, uh, usually through color and placement, makes it stand out drawing the visitor's eyes to the next step. And fourth is secondary action button. The secondary CTA introducing initiative new feature serves as a dual purpose. It not only provides additional information about a new feature, but also showcases Linear's innovation and continuous development. This secondary option caters to users who may want to explore more about the product before committing. And fifth, we have also visuals. Visuals, the top tier mockup uh, of the platform despite in the hero section offers a glimpse into Linear's interface. It gives pot to potential users visualization what they can expect, reducing ambiguity or, and building the trust. The gradient blending with the background creates a sense of depth and subtly uh, indicates uh, the potential for scoring inviting users to explore further down the page. And you can see that we have also social proof. Directly below the hero section, the logos of reputable companies using Linear act as an immediate social proof. So this inclusion gives a sense uh, to visitors about their product's credibility and reliability, suggesting that it is trusted by industry leaders as well. And a really important aspect is also white space and reliability. The design effectively uses white space to keep the hero section clean and focused. The balance between text and visuals ensures that the message is easy to digest without feeling cluttered. The color contrast between text and background enhances also the readability, ensuring that the headline, subheadline and CTAs are easily noticeable. And eighth point I would like to discuss is responsive elements. So while not visible in a single glance, the gradient blending into the background suggests responsive and dynamic layout. It provides a subtle cue for users to scroll down, engaging them in an interactive exploration of the site. The Linear's Hero section is a masterclass in blending clarity, visual appeal and also user-centric design. It quickly communicates the product's purpose, guides the users through uh, clear CTAs, call to actions, and provides social proof to build trust within the visitors. So all of this within a visually striking framework. Definitely you can take lots of inspiration from this tool. The layout of the hero section is crucial for setting the tone of your website and guiding uh, visitors' attention. There are actually much more options than classical left text and right visuals options. Here are some popular layouts that can be tailored to suit different website goals. So the first one is centered content. This classical layout places the headline, subheadline, and CTA prominently in the center of the hero section, often against a background image or gradient. It creates a strong focal point, ensuring the core message is immediately clear. Ideal for minimalistic designs, it's perfect for product launches or portfolios as well, where a direct and straightforward message is needed to drive immediate action. Clear example here is for example clickup.com. Then we have split screen. A split screen divides the hero section into two parts, typically with the text uh, on one side and complementary visual on the other side. This balanced layout allows both the message and visuals to stand out, providing context quickly. It's really effective for product showcases, SaaS platforms, or any websites where the visual component is vital as the textual content, giving users a clear understanding at a glance. Definitely you can't be wrong uh, with it just like with the central content previously. Here you can imagine our linear example we analyzed before. Then we have full screen video. Using a full screen video background offers a dynamic and immersive experience, often with a headline and CTA overlay. It's an excellent choice for storytelling, allowing websites 
uh, to convey complex messages and evoke emotions in a matter of seconds. This layout is well suited for brands, events or travel websites where visual storytelling can significantly enhance user engagement. But always be careful with proper video format so you don't affect loading time too much. A really well-known example is Shopify.com with its dynamic uh, client videos and success stories. And four, we have Carousel Sliders. Carousel Sliders rotate through multiple messages or images within the hero section. So each with its own headline, text and CTA. This layout is great for showcasing different pro products, services or features without overwhelming the users uh, in one view. So it's really effective, for example, for e-commerce and digital agencies. It engages users by encouraging interaction through care must be taken to ensure key messages are not missed. Each layout offers distinct advantages from the simplicity or central content uh, to dynamic storytelling of a full screen video. Selecting the right layout helps convey your message effectively and guides visitors uh, through the website in an engaging and purposeful way. Here you can image e-commerce websites like Actin, for example. I personally don't use this uh, kind of layout too much, as uh, there is a big risk to provide too much information and make the website feel overwhelming at the very beginning. If you are searching for more inspiration in terms of web design, my first choice is platform called Mobin, where you can search and browse within thousands of designs from famous brands collected in organized categories, elements or flows. So for example, for web design, you can click on web and the hero section directly here and then have a tons of inspiration. Good to mention that they have both plans, pro and free. So if you are using free, the functionality can be quite limited. But I personally running on the pro version. For inspiration and deeper understanding of various hero section layouts, you can also explore uh, the diverse range of templates available directly in Wix Studio. These templates uh, cover different industries and styles, showcasing a wide variety of design approaches to hero section. By analyzing these examples, you can see the first hand how different layouts whatever center content, split screens, full screen videos or carousel sliders are used to create engaging and effective first impressions. This hands-on exploration will help you understand what makes a hero section successful and provide ideas for your own designs. But now let's sum up what we have learned in this chapter. The hero section is the focal point of a website's homepage, capturing visitors' attention and conveying the core message within seconds. It combines key elements like compiling headline, supportative subheadline, a clear call to action, engaging visuals, and social proof uh, to guide visitors toward a desired action. So different layouts like centered content, split screens, full screen videos, and carousel sliders can be used to align within the website's goals, each offering unique advantages. By offering blending clarity, visual appeal and user-centric design, the hero section sets the tone of the whole user experience of the website, making it essential to get right for a successful website. For now, it's all about the hero sections. Don't forget to complete the quiz and see you soon.